Sex with Americans must be fantastic. Do you know what I mean? All of them hooting and a hollering. You know? <laughs> well, yeah! Who's your daddy? It's probably the wrong thing to hear if you're a man. <laughs> it's not like sex in this country. That was great, thanks. Do you ever get an erection during an argument? I mean, like, you know, <laughs> I mean with your, your wife or your girlfriend, not like in a pub, but, you know, a fight breaks out. <laughs> Going home? When your wife's angry, your girlfriend's angry at you. Somehow something happens and you go, oh, what the, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> I'm in the middle of an argument here. I'm making a point, but stop it. It's just, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Braz, no. What age are you? What? 25. My God, you look, you do look very young. Do people say that to you very often? Sometimes you do look very young. You do, man, alive. And uh, are, you, are you a couple? You're not a couple, you're just you're sitting very close. <laughs> Do you know each other? Oh, that's okay, right. That's, I thought this is a strange place to start making moves and people in a TV recording, you going, how are you doing, how are you? <laughs> are, 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 would you be, um, you know, a lover? Do you know what I mean, would you be uh, Have you got the moves? Do you know what I mean, have you got the moves? Can you, can you, you know, can, have you got the moves? I'm not going to ask for the moves. Have you got the moves? <laughs> Are you single? Yeah, you don't have the moves. Right, so... Waste of time. Um, no, the bra thing, can you undo bras? I can't undo bras. I, I'm 42 years old and I still can't undo a bra. I can't, genuinely, I can't. I can't undo the bra. I can't, you know, because apparently it's very, it's not very romantic, very sexy. You know, if you're, if you're reaching around going... Mm, I'm usually, I'm like Stephen Hawking trying to undo a combination bicycle lock in the dark. That's so bad. <laughs> Come on! And apparently it's very, it's not very romantic at all to do that, that, and... <laughs> <laughs> Women complain about that! Even though that's the way every bra in the world is put on every single morning. You have to be some special kind of woman that puts it on like this. No woman does that! Every woman goes, click, boom, boom. I have no problem with that. The Diddy Dance is my favorite thing. I love the Diddy Dance. Catching sight of the Diddy Dance first thing in the morning makes me happy for the rest of the day. Just that. It's fantastic, especially if, you know, maybe she's angry with me. <laughs> I don't know why. Stand there going, did you put the bins out? <laughs> Are you a texter? You text and do you do the Twitter and all that sort of? You text, do you do Twitter? Do you Twitter? You don't Twitter? Good. I like you. Um, <laughs> no, the, the, what, what, there are two types of texters in the world, right? This is the world is divided into two types of texters. Are you a texter that, oh. You've got the moves. <laughs> that is a gentleman right there. I can't stand text speak and shorthand abbreviated text. It's insane. It's just, oh, 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 oh. It's, like getting, <laughs> it's like getting a phone call from a deaf French man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know why a deaf French man's on the phone in the first place. <laughs> if anyone should be texting, it should be him. I'm texting you. Do not ring back. I will not hear it. It is on vibrate, but I still will not be able to hear it. 
But seriously, that abbreviated text that we're uh, uh, um, here before that out. Uh, like, you know, have you ever had a text message of a 15 year old? That sounds so bad. Have you ever had a text message? <laughs> <laughs> Let me out of the car. No, ha ha ha. Seriously? Look at the teenager's text messages going, why the fuck are you sending me number plates? What does this mean? <laughs> I do proper text messages. Dear sir, comma. That's... <laughs> do you know how difficult it is to find a semicolon in predictive text? <laughs> Stand there going one 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 smiley face. Fuck off. One 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 one. You're sincerely sent. Have you travelled much there, fella? Yeah. Have you travelled? Oh, good man. Because that's the thing now. You see, you know, there was a bit of money around, and and you know, kids were able to travel. That was fantastic. Where have you been? Where's the most exotic place you've ever been? Tobago. Tobago. Excellent. No material about that. And, uh, <laughs> was, it, was it cool? Was it, was it fantastic? Yeah. yeah. Did you do a gap year thing or did you do any of that? No, it was in between two years at university. Yeah, in between two years in university. A gap year. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you didn't go to a very good university, did you? <laughs> they didn't teach you that. Where have you been for a year? I've been away, just in between two years. On a gap year? No, I've just been away for a year in between two years. It's a very different thing. I went to Japan. Japan's a fantastic place. Japan's amazing. Um, it, it, has anybody ever been to Japan? It, it's stunning. They're obsessed with technology in Japan, which is a fantastic thing. Obsessed with technology. In, in the hotel I stayed in, there was a computer attached to the toilet. No, I didn't think a toilet needed, you know, a computer. There's pretty basic, simple functions that you perform in a, on a toilet. But this computer was attached to the toilet. I was terrified of the computer because there were no instructions on how to use the computer or what it actually did. Uh, it was all in Japanese. I had no idea. So I didn't do city downies for three days, right? I just did standing uppies. <laughs> I was getting backed up on day three. I thought, I'm doing city downies, right? <laughs> so I did a couple of drinks. I'm doing the city downies. I decided to use the computer, right? I pressed this little button on the computer, and this is completely true. And this little came out from behind, <laughs> under where I'm sitting. It just went, which is slightly disconcerting when it <laughs> nudges against you. You're going, oh, what the? F just. And then there was a dial on, the, on this particular thing that went from naught to four. No, I had no idea what this did. None whatsoever, right? But I am a man. So I see something that goes from naught to four. I think, fuck it, turn her up, right? <laughs> a woman approaching this would have been very different. If you had approached it, you would have looked at a naught to four. Well, let's find out what it does first. You know, no, me, four, go, now. <laughs> I did not expect the water to hit my arse at the velocity or temperature that it actually did. It hit it at such a rate, it propelled me off the toilet seat into the door of the bathroom, out into the bedroom, right? I'm lying there with my trousers on my ankles with water pouring out of my arse, <laughs> laughing. I go back and sit the opposite direction, turn it down to one and go, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs>